Well, the science is clear. The recent IPCC report has made an alarming finding that we have a three to five year window to act. The developed world need to take a more proactive approach in making sure that we catalyze the transition from a business as usual scenario to the carbon neutral world that we want our children to live in. As rainforest countries, we are a part of that equation, part of that solution in making sure that our forests are conserved um, for the betterment of the future in terms of uh, making sure that Red Plus becomes a reality. The Red Plus mechanism is the best solution to hit net zero targets because it's a nature-based solution. You have adaptation and mitigation within the same mechanism. You are working with the local community. You are protecting biodiversity. You are protecting the forest. You are ensuring that the forest is protected long term. The Red Plus mechanism has been uh, very important for DRC uh, over the past uh, 15 years because the Red Plus mechanism is the one mechanism that looks at our forests and puts a value on those forests, puts a value on the effort that we do to protect those forests. The Red Plus process is the only one who work now. It is difficult, but because it's strong. As far as the requirements are concerned on the UNFCCC to participate in Red Plus, uh, Papua New Guinea have met those requirements, the four elements. That's the National Red Plus Strategy, the National Forest Monitoring System, the Forest Reference Level, and then we have the Safeguards Information System. It is actually the only actionable mechanism of the Paris Agreement. Because when you look at the Paris Agreement, different mechanisms are still under negotiations as regards Article 6, for example. But Red Plus is ripe, is ready to be operationalized. Uh, what we need is we need uh, money, we need uh, uh, support, because the real money is in the hands of the private sector. The key message that I have for multinational corporations is that they have to look beyond the boundaries of, of their business model. And Red Plus provides an excellent opportunity. Instead of bringing devastation to a forest, we bring economic prosperity at the, at the local level. The benefits of Red Plus for Honduras on a national basis is that we are going to be able to take a compensation mechanism for the people or giving them an alternative to conserve and protect the forest. But also we can reduce the migration of our people having alternatives in the country. The money goes to all the governmental institutions that we call beneficiaries. They have legal agreements with the Office of Red Plus established within the Deputy Ministry of Forestry and then that goes to the community. But in the case of the Dominican Republic, our Deputy Ministry of Protected Areas and Biodiversity Conservation is one of the beneficiaries of Red Plus. So this is ensuring that the 25% of the country that is protected area is receiving the money to actually protect those riverbanks, those animals, their biodiversity, their forestry coverage of the protected areas and beyond that from the other institutions.